Hi guys, so we're back with another video and today I'm going to be doing roughly, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but roughly about an hour of uh, Throne and Liberty, which is the new free-to-play game that's just come to PlayStation. So, we've got server selection. Your character creation lock. So, can we join, can we join any of these then? Character creation lock, so we can't join that. So let's join, I don't know, let's join Then if then I guess it's going down from top to bottom, so it's the next one that's the star of Silaveth. It is said to be the seal stone containing Silaveth, goddess of destruction. This magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world, and those who were born with this fragment were called the Starborn. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the Star Fragments as a tool of war. The wizard Jan Junith sent Calanthea, a witch, to the remote island where Starborn were hiding. Wow. We must protect the children at all costs. Yeah. Hi. So, is this see, I don't be that fast. With the uh, with too much of this, like in depth character creation and stuff, it's um. Abraham's nose is. Have some war paint or something. It's not bad, it's not bad. Let's just no, let's not be emo from the start. <coughs>
Ну. А, yes. The one thing that I like to change more than anything is the uh, battle cruises here. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, when you want to do like olden days, it's kind of got to be really sort of like the long air, like the, the, the Witcher kind of look is what's ideal, I think. Like this, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have this. Uh, how do we change the, the colors and stuff? Can we change the color? So he's got that old, old person look actually, so it's just... Let's maybe just keep with this. And then the beard. I don't think we can change that because we've got full on... I feel like I could poke someone's eye out with a beard. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, so I can have black in my... I can have black beard. For some reason I can't have black, black hair. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. We'll go with that oldie look. That's fine. We'll get in there in real life anyway, so that's, that's fine. Let's go like, I think I'm happy with that. A bit of, a bit of everything or whatever. I do like that one. There's something about it. I also like that one. That looks more like a kind of reminds me of Witcher a little bit. That one's definitely like Witcher. I'm gonna have this one, you know. Yeah, we kind of don't want to be short and we change this anyway. We could, we could be, we could be bulky, but we don't want to be bulky. We don't want to be super tall. Maybe somewhere about there would be, would be kind of good. I think, yeah, around about there. Ever a voice thing or anything? Usually, some sort of voice or something. But let's go with that. I'm not gonna, not gonna go too deep into into um, into the character fridge.
Down. Two. One ring to roll them all. Jesus, how many controls? So, how do we move? We need to get out of here. You think? So, move around. Okay, so you got right this. R1, and then you've got these, or you can just smash R1. Uh, R2. Oh, and you've got like another, another set, so it's like skills get. Skill set two is, is the face buttons. Then you've got R2 and the D pad, but maybe I've got it activated or something. Uh, R2 and party marker. Then a controlled. Uh, Hold on. L2 and square at the same time as Astral Vision. So is that Astral Vision? Oh, that's true. Let's bring up the. Defensive skills. Squat weapon. Change of item. Trying to look for dash move. Is there like a roll or something or a block? Because it looks like there's that a block, but like you can um, roll or anything like that, and then map. So you can do like auto run as well. Now stop them. Ah, so you gotta kind of get the timing just perfect.
So R1 is your, your melee, R2 is your ranged. Uh, don't know if you can tap it maybe fast. to run. So we're using our we're using our bow now. Yeah, so there we go. So we've got some other to survive it. He just turned to dust. Yeah, that's that's our that's Lord of the Rings stuff right there. Or was it just a dream? So none of that actually happened then. The memory of that day returned like a nightmare. Oh. Oh no, it's a memory. <laughs> How is that already in use? I don't know what's going on here. nightmare again please don't feel guilty the elder wouldn't want you to feel this way forever come on why don't you go out and get some fresh air wouldn't he not want you to feel that way at all it wasn't his fault just left to go to moonshade town you should follow her i'd love to come with but running makes my arm hurt I'll bet Lottie morphed. If you want to catch up to her, you'll have to morph too. Ah, oh, that Lottie. She didn't take the map again. Can you take it to her? I drew up the map because she asked for it too.
Okay, so this is is this the the whole map? Pick up the map on the table. I guess so. Maybe there's more. Oh no, there is more. Hold on, zoom out. Wow. Okay, okay. There's like a big area at the bottom here with nothing in it, so I don't know if that's future stuff. Maybe can go there, but I don't know if that's the whole map there. Or if it goes further. Pick up the map on the table. But this looks like it might be quite a big map on its own, just just this island or whatever. Pick up the map on the table. All right, All right let's get going. I thought you weren't coming. But you said that you weren't going to come. Go to those stairs over there, quickly. If you want to catch up to Lottie, you'd better hurry. Whoa. Wow. Looks like something like a Terry Pratchett kind of thing, you know, with the, uh, is it that tortoise looking thing that flies with the city or world on its back? Did you see that? That was Gigantrite! Oh, I heard that it's passing with Spirian today. So what am I, some sort of, am I like a lion or something? Oh, I some sort of beast. I am the beast. Adventurer, why are you here? Oh, the map. You oh, forgot it. I was just about to go back and get it. Thanks. Oh, I need to repair something in Crescent Town. Since you're here already, do you want to go to the training grounds with me? It's been a while since you've seen some action. Oh. Uh, I'm sure yeah. it's nothing too serious or urgent. Besides, today is the day when Gigantrite passes by Wisperian. Wisperian will be full of energy today, so let's take it easy. Why don't you take this chance to try out a different weapon? You can't keep using that broken sword forever. Then we can go to Moonshade Town. What do you say? Uh... Now, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Be careful, my friend. Seems like Clay is here too, given the special occasion. Who's this? Where are you headed? You seem nervous. Uh, I'm going to fight, I think. Today's the day where the massive divine beast called Gigantrite comes by. What are you doing? Let's go inside. All right. Chill. What's wrong with my sword anyway? There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I'm surprised to see anyone here today. It still looks pretty sharp. Some weapons. What's this? Weapon chest. You're new to these weapons, right? Let me teach you. Well, I'm sure you already know you can equip up to two weapons. Try out different weapons and find a weapon that you like. So you can have the great sword, or you can have a sword. So they end up having a sword and shield, the one-handed. Probably faster, doesn't do quite as much damage. The dual daggers. I kind of like the idea of this because it's always like usually very fast in games. But it tends to be one of them things you don't really have anything defensive. You're you're more of a an attacker, really. Bow. You like bow, but in a game like this, I think you need to be more melee than anything. Cross it. Oh. <clears throat> that kind of looks quite fast, and it's dual. Oh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, uh, my favourite weapons are dual pistols and stuff like that. And this is almost like a dual pistol. 
So hold on, didn't she say they could have two? So if I could have two, I think I would have the sword and I would have the crossbow. That's the staff, like magical powers and stuff. Wand. Hold on, so what's that? That's staff. And then wand is just pure magic then. So you could be Harry Potter if you wanted. Or you could be Gandalf. Okay, so... Uh, open the main menu to equip your equipment. If so... Uh, Um, available equipment, select equipment and press X to swap equipment. Uh, okay, so we want crossbow. Hold on. So maybe if we put, because uh, that's more the great sword, the bronze sword, maybe. Or do we want the daggers? See, look at the damage. Thirty-three, nineteen to thirty-five. So more damage, but it's slower because attack speed is point five five and less. Oh no, it's point four five. So hold on, how how's that work? Oh no, uh, it's a little bit faster. But it's not by much. I think we'll we'll have that, and then as our secondary one. Hold on, that makes sense. So I need to. Mm. Okay, so that's, that's second one. So that's good. I think I'm happy with that. Three sets now. Oh, but that's the. Yeah, so now that's the face ones. Left, right, up, and down on the D pad. So let's practice. I just this skill cannot be used because of the currently equipped weapon. So, do we not have to change the skill? Do. 
So that should be equipping the, the actual abilities that I can use now. So, hold on. So now I can't use the defense one. So I could just I could just press R1 once and it does auto attacking like this. Uh or you hold it and do the individual powers. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Hold on. Not ready. Pop, 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 pop. What was that? Oh yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Do more. We're going to Moonshade Town. Can you open the gate? Sure, Lottie. You'll have a good view of Whisperian on the way too. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, we spent too much time. Should we hurry? Wow. How cool is that? The visits Whisperian. The town buzzes with excitement and energy. During such an event, you and Lottie left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade Town. Oh, what's going on? So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here? Let's go and check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. Huh? Yeah. The what? The watchtower was destroyed by an attack. Although the path was now blocked, you and Lottie made use of the piton and your grappling hooks to continue onward. Looks like the cart was destroyed by artillery. Hey, are you all right? What's going on? There are fireballs flying through the sky. Hmm. I hope Unshade Town is okay. Oh. More fireballs coming. Oh, no. I see a lot of black mitrans. Let's take care of this quickly. Thank you to Moonshade Town. Watch the movements carefully. Look for an opening for a counter attack. No. Eat down. Pretty nice actually. I was thinking I don't know if I like it or not at first. But I like the fact that I can still move and I can just let it do the auto just basic uh, attacks and then use my uh, special abilities on the faces there. 
And I can still do blocking, moving, and everything like that. So it's not like it's there's no strategy or dumbed down completely. Where are we going? This can't be happening. The polylift is broke. We can't get to Asperian with this. Hmm. This lift would let us cross Vesperian to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. Then yeah, we need a boat. Odd. Vermets is here. Maybe he has an idea. I will try to find a way. You go ahead and take care of the injured. Vermets. Oh, can you fix this? Lucky. Well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started? What do we need to do then? What do you want? We've got a big problem. Can you see me? Tree was <laughs> inside. We're flying up to the top. Maybe we don't need that pulling. That. Like a weird looking uh, sack boy. on your way to Asperian. While Asperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the great tree. Honestly, I don't know what's happened. But, but we were able to meet because your special power has reacted to us. First, let's go and teach a lesson to William. Mm, well, you can get there with your glide mode. Usually, for a starborn, it's a second nature. It's all right. I will help you. Give me a moment. Quiet, bold eagle. Yes. The bold eagle. Uh, so the double jump with X. Try this out. Glide platform double double jump. Destroyed. Reinforcements can't reach us. Is there some way? Oh, 
Someone's coming. Or me. You, how did you get here? I thought the pulley lift was broken. I don't really understand what you're saying. But if you don't got here, you, you must have the power of a star yeah. fragment. I hear that those with the power of the star fragment can communicate with mysterious entities. Ah, forgive me. My name is Clay Carter, from the Resistance. For some reason, you seem kind of familiar. Oh, I see. You escaped with me. I feel like this isn't really the time to be having a long chat. Now's hardly the time to chat. Yeah. Now, can you lend us your strength? I thought I saw some sort of orc or something fighting just now. I'm glad you're safe, but now hardly. Yeah, thank you. Let's do this. Captain Kyra and I will fight the Archean forces on this side and find a way to get in. We'll need you to go into town and rescue the residents with the resistance. Please be careful. When this is over, let's be sure to meet again. After yes. On top of the certainly will, Monocom. Hold on. There you go. You're dead now. Oh, for it. Jesus. Run right into that. Probably not the best. I keep pressing the wrong button, I keep pressing R2 thinking I need to do that for the normal attack but I need to press R1 to get the normal attack to go and then yeah. Get R1 going. Then Out the um, the blocking. down everywhere okay, okay so we've got some sort of shield on this let's go What the hell? Oh, man. That is not that big. I thought it was even bigger than that then, I was gonna say. I'm supposed to fight that.
Okay, this is it. <laughs> okay. We need, uh, we need to get some of these abilities going. Where's he going? Just in time. Like there should be a roll or something, but I don't know. I feel like we're chipping away slowly, slowly, slowly. I've got to just keep moving. around the back. You guys pretty powers. Why are we not waking up? I guess that was us there, and the power kind of went from the elder into us. Children, this way. Wow. Hey, hey, wake up, Benny. That's strange. I wasn't told about any serious injuries. Are you awake? Do you recognize me? Oh, nice. You wait here. I'll call the healer now. But it looks like we're all right. A child who lost everything here ten years ago. Now challenges the might of the Arcane Legion. Starborn bravery and determination, forged in celestial fire. What a relief! I was worried that you wouldn't wake up. Don't you remember? You blasted that orc away with the Star Fragment's power. 
Really, your body started glowing purple all of a sudden, then you smashed that orc's eye with your axe. The orc went boom in a flash of purple. It was amazing, but do you feel alright? Really, maybe you used too much of the star fragment's power. Then let's go and ask Clay. He said he wanted to talk to you. How do we know if we're using too much power? Is it that one that's at the top, like the, the green bar and the blue? Healer. Are you okay? If you're on any pain, please come and see me. Yeah, uh, I've got a bad toe. Wow, this looks pretty nice. Look. Let's have a look at the map. So we're right over the other side now. So, so that's a fair sized map. And that's if there's not more further up as well. Okay, so what happened? Do you have any idea how worried I was? I thought something happened to you. Clay is waiting inside, so hurry up and go see him. Yeah. Well, something did kind of happen to me, yes. You did good. Oh, you're finally awake. Come this way. Thanks to your defeat of King Vert, we were able to fight off the Archeon. The portal in the sky has closed as well. I don't remember what happened. You were about to be killed by King Vert when your star fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please. Yeah, why, well, why would I feel bad? I was inside and he was trying to protect me. Because I was a child, and he said the children must be protected at all costs or whatever. It's like, that. why would I feel guilty about it? He's protecting me. It's what adults do. That said, are you alright? Your power, it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is. When a star fragment's power overloads like that, it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body. It could even kill you. Carrying such a powerful star fragment makes you a target for the Archeum too. A decade ago, Kazar and Kalanthia invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves. That power is unpredictable when it's in a frenzy. It will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Lasslin. She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. Here, take my token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky. And he will help you. Got it. When you are ready to leave, touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Hm. I wish you all the best. <laughs> this little rock dude. Always together. Okay, so place hand on him. There we go, placing our hand on him. I was going to pull his head off then, even though his head's just floating. Places for losers. Jesus. You've never been outside of the island before. Are you nervous? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. If you go to the new world, you'll be able to fix that little problem. 
Now that I have time to introduce myself, the name says it all. I am the great Helpy. Okay, let's go. Island or land, country. So there's a lot of different biomes, castles, deserts, forests, beaches, swampy areas, bright flowery areas, cities, towns, villages, all sorts. That's like the, the dungeons or the world bosses or something for everyone to come together and fight. First lag. Power. The island is safe for now. Okay, so here we are. We we I guess done the tutorial area and with everybody else now on the uh, the main the main part of the uh, map and we can link our accounts and such. So I think I'll probably do that in a minute. But I'll leave it there. That's been the, the first hour roughly of uh throne and liberty with the you know from start to basically to to get into this point so making our character learning the controls doing the first bit of bowels and stuff and uh, i'm kind of impressed so far it just depends on if it stays this way because a lot of games that are mmos tend to be like that the, the first tutorial area or the first part of the game is is always the best and then when you get towards the end game it just becomes a grindy thing with hardly any story and stuff so we'll see if it carries on that way uh, uh but it's a good start so far and i'm enjoying it so i'll definitely be playing more of this so thanks for watching guys uh, see you in the next one